Hey guys, you Taiwan Sammy, Sri Lanka Sammy, coming to you live. Oh, what a beautiful day. It's actually later in the day. It's 10 a.m. and the sun is up and it is hot. It is Tuesday and today is an actually a holiday. It's actually Korean uh, Independence Foundation Movement Day and a holiday here in Sri Lanka as well. It is a Hindu uh, holiday today. Uh, Sri Lanka has three different religious groups and the government celebrates all the major holidays. So it's a public holiday, bank holiday, everything's closed today. So I decided because of such a beautiful day, nothing to do that I will head up to the beach and enjoy a day uh, at the ocean. But today, what am I going to talk to you about? I'm going to talk to you about, in this little walk and talk, while I sweat, it's 35 degrees today. Well, it's going to be. Right now, it's about 30, 32. Feels like 40, I'm going to say. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you about what are the differences that I have to get used to living here in Sri Lanka. The things that are... You know, you get those videos where people talk about the differences between Korea and America and this and that. But what are the differences that I personally have to get used to living here in Sri Lanka as a foreigner? Well, not a foreigner, as an expat, because I'm a Sri Lankan citizen, for those of you that don't remember. So first thing is, uh, uh, you know, driving on the left, walking on the left, driving on the left, all of that I have to get used to. Um, because I am going to be getting my driver's license. I'm going to be doing all of that. So I need to learn how to, how to do that. Uh, drive, walk, uh, because it's all left, sa left side driving here, left side walking because of the colonial influence. Uh, Sri Lanka was a colony of the UK. So I have to get used to that. The second thing is, is that um, there is an unofficial class system here. So, how do I say this? No one is better than anyone, but I'm, it's not my place to make the changes. I don't feel comfortable with it. And I've said it to my parents and I've said it, you know, um, not to anybody else. Cause again, I don't want to cause disrespect or anything like that, but this is a, culture that's been around for 5,000 years so I'm not going to be the one who's going to change it but I'm gonna live within it and not take advantage of it but the class system where you know servants um, the way I'm treated in in when I go out in public uh, because I am perceived as upper class my family is well off I'm well off here but um, my parents have a servant, not servant, he is a man who takes care of the house. He maintains the house, watches it, does a little bit of gardening and cleaning, and just, you know, takes care of things. He has his own little servant's quarters, his bathroom, his food, everything's taken care of. And my parents are really nice to him. You know, they they take extra good care. Um, <clears throat> What else? Um, we also have a driver and he's mentioned because my parents don't drive. It's very difficult to drive in this country and they're older. So they hired a driver and they pay him quite well. And he's on call. They just call him. He drives down here, picks up their car, drives them around, brings them back home, takes his vehicle and goes back home. So uh, he has mentioned the fact that how nice my parents are. And they, they are. They, uh, you know, take care of the people that work for them but when I go out into public like to shopping groceries or to a hotel to a swimming pool or something like that to the beach like I am today I'm treated a little bit different even though I'm Sri Lankan they know that I'm not a local number one they say it's my accent and the way I speak Sinhalese the Sri Lankan language so I need to get used to that how to be how to accept it and just you know be gracious about it um, because like for example 
I come in to a room and he will stand up, my the, the servant man at the house. And I said, no, 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 just sit down, relax. And he's like, he doesn't understand because my Sri Lankan is not that good and his English is non-existent. But he won't eat until after we finish eating. And I said, I'm not eating right now, you eat first. And it just won't, it just won't. It's, it's a difficult thing to get used to. So let me get over to the hotel and I'll follow up with this story in a bit. Eat your one Sammy, Sri Lanka Sammy, I'm out. Hey guys, I'm back. Back at the hotel. Oh, look at that. Just, oh, every time I walk out here and see this beautiful view, it's just incredible. So it's Tuesday, uh, I forgot to say, it's Tuesday, uh, March 1. I'm back at Nagumbo, Camelot Beach Hotel, my favorite little hotel. Uh, just gonna relax and hang out here today. Enjoy the wonderful weather, the fact that it's a holiday, and just enjoy the beach, the water, the sun. So the other thing that I'm gonna do today is talk to you guys about, uh, finish talking about the things that I gotta get used to. And one of the things I wanted to mention uh, about the uh, class system, I mean, it exists in Korea as well, but here it's a much a little bit different because it's based on education and money, which is the same as Korea, but it's just slightly different than the Korean way, uh, whereas people can, you know, move out of those classes here. Uh, it's not really, well, I, it's hard for me to say that. It's I've seen it that it probably isn't. But anyway, I just want to say it's um, one of the examples I give is the, for example, I'm blocking the doorway because I'm leaning in the doorway to the kitchen from the living room, from the dining room. And the man is behind me. He wants to pass, but he walks so quietly and he's so quiet. He won't say anything. He won't say, excuse me, sir. He'll wait till I move or that I, till I notice him. And I said to my mom to translate to him, say, you know, just say excuse me or whatever if I'm in the way or anything. And she says, I can't tell him that because he won't do that. So that's one of the major differences that I got to get used to. Anyway, I'm going to find me a place to sit. I'm going to relax and we will be back to finish this story. I'm out. Hi guys, I'm back. So let me finish up this story about um, the things that I need to get used to living here um, story sorry um so i talked about you know driving on the left walking on the left um and the class system um talked in a little bit about that the other thing is is the is the driving here is the same but different than korea it's much much different in that you have different classes of vehicles. So you have the little tuk-tuks. So the three-wheel motorcycles. You have cars and then you have big trucks and the buses. You gotta watch out for the buses here. It is not, I don't wanna say safe, but it's not, it's not the best situation. There's two styles of buses. So there's the city buses, which are the red ones. And then there's the private buses. Those guys just drive like they own the road. They'll drive on the wrong side of the road. They'll drive on the side not sidewalk, but the shoulder and they'll just barrel down on you um, because they work on speed and, and, and the number of passengers that they can take. So they are just rushing, rushing, rushing. They'll pass you and then stop because they got to pick somebody up. So it's not the, the best situation to be on the road so driving here is not easy and then you have like two lanes but you'll have five vehicles in two lanes um blocks and blocks and blocks like traffic jams and stuff like that so it's not the safest place to to walk or to drive so my parents have a driver uh he takes care of that i'm going to get a driver's license i'm going to exchange my korean license for my sri lankan license and depending on where i live if i live in this area i'll get a scooter because it's not that bad here uh you know just to go 
between here and the grocery store or whatever, depending on how far I live away from the beach. Uh, my plan is to be in the, in the Nagumbo town, uh, you know, get an, get a house there, and then you know, be able to either walk or or take a scooter here. If I need to go to my parents' house, I'll have to like hire a, a, a taxi to go. It's about 40 minutes to get to my parents' house, and it's not something I want to do on a scooter. Um, and it doesn't cost that much. It costs about three dollars to go one way. That's not a lot of money. Um, uh, 40 minutes in Seoul would cost me 30, maybe 30,000 won, 40,000 won. Yeah, about 30,000 won to go from 40 minutes. Yeah, that's what it would cost me. It cost me 3,000 won here, about $3. So that's the that's the third thing is the traffic. The fourth thing is the food, and the food is amazing. Uh, just everything is curried, everything is flavorful, everything has got sauce. The rices are you know you can have plain rice right to fried rice with mixes vegetables and and chicken and and fish. The fish oh my god, the fish is incredible. The fish curries with the turmeric and the and the deep dark curries is what I like. So that's what I'm enjoying. Sorry, just checking if I'm actually recording. It's so dark. <laughs> so I mean it's so bright out that I can't really see. So I just want to make sure that I'm not talking to myself and not recording this. But the food, I have been enjoying the food. Uh, and if you're if you're on my Facebook or Instagram, you'll see the pictures that I posted. I, I should do a video on the food here, and I will. Um, a couple of videos ago, I did a, the food at the hotel, but that's hotel food. That's a little bit different. I got to do, like, what my mom cooks or what, you know, the standard is. Um, last night, I went to my, cousin, my second cousin's um, birthday party. And she had a bunch of friends over and family, and, and we shared in her uh, dinner, and it was amazing. It, it was really good. The, the rice dish that they had, they had prepared was incredible. Um, the fish, the, the, the seafood is incredible. Sri Lanka is predominantly a chicken nation, so it's a lot of chicken. Uh, beef, they have, but it's not uh, because of the... Uh, Muslim and Hindu community I think I'm, I'm assuming I'm assuming I don't see a lot of beef but it's there it's there if you like beef you can have beef but because it's an ocean it's seafood so today I'm gonna go and have seafood I'm not gonna eat at the hotel I'm gonna go outside uh, to one of the restaurants here the beach front restaurants and get some seafood um, seafood rice and stuff like that uh, maybe some shrimp or something and um, so what else uh, the heat oh the heat the heat the heat unless I'm at the beach or at the pool it, the heat is just really sometimes a little bit too much I'm constantly having to drink water because you just you, 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 you get dehydrated you don't sweat I mean it's not humid it's just it's a dry heat uh, at this time of year um, and then it rains in the afternoon or evening and it cools it off at night so at night it's it's really quite nice but I have to have the fan on um, and currently we're going through the power cuts the power outages because the government is uh, is shutting off the power because of the financial crisis because they don't have enough fuel to buy to pay for the uh, to buy the fuel to, to power the power station so we're getting three to five hours of power cuts a day uh, today was at 8 30 till 11 30 and then 4 30 till 7 30. so you know those are the prime time uh, usage so it, it's i need to get used to that till about april or may until the hydroelectric dams can get full of water the reservoirs during the the the, the summer rain uh, spring summer rain rainy season but yeah you know, I was talking to my mom about the heat and she says it's it's pretty well like this all year long the only difference being is the uh, amount of humidity that occurs uh, during uh, the rainy season but uh, normally at this time of year they would go up country which is into the mountains it's a little cooler up there well a lot cooler so um, 
yeah the heat is is that um what else do i gotta get used to um being treated like a tourist <laughs> um i mean sri lankans can see that i am not a local by the way i dress by the way i look and then as soon as i open my mouth they know because of my act because of my lack of accent most Sri Lankans speak with a British accent because they learn British English. Uh, being a former colony, the teachers and, and everyone speaks with a British accent. So that, you know, that typical Indian accent that you guys know from, from movies and TV. Um, you know, think um, Rajesh Kutrapali from the, you know, uh, Big Bang Theory. That's, you know, how most uh, Sri Lankans speak. So. As soon as I open my mouth, they know. And even though I speak Singhala, which is the Sri Lankan language, um, they, they know. Because uh, I asked. I asked. So they say, how do you know I'm not local? I say, sir, that when you talk, <laughs> your accent. <laughs> so getting used to that will be a little bit, uh, you know, I, I want to be treated like a local i think i guess i don't know it's only been you know when this video goes up i'll be here more than a month but today as of today i'm here 25 days and predominantly you know i'm living with my parents until i find my own place i'm staying at hotels um you know whenever i want uh, when i go shop i went shopping you know it, it, i get treated differently um but it's very interesting um every time i've come here i've always been here on vacation so it was more like, you know, running around trying to get to visit all the family or if I had friends coming here, uh, you know, taking them places. But now life has become very um, slow. There's no rush for me to do anything. There's no rush for me to go anywhere or be anywhere other than for me to do my work. You know, I got to be online. So I, when I make plans to do things, it's all about, you know, where are my online classes monday wednesday so today i did i had a class at 4 30 in the morning one hour <sighs> blew you know blew through that like there was no tomorrow went right back to bed uh, because it was you know it was eight o'clock in the morning in seoul or nine o'clock in the morning in seoul uh thursday i have again in the morning and then one in the afternoon like about two or three o'clock because it's 6 p.m in seoul so other than Tuesday and Thursday, where I have, you know, just one or two hour classes, Monday and Wednesday, I have a full day. I have six hours of classes in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. Soul time. But for me, you know, I'm finished by five o'clock. I start at four in the morning and I'm finished by five o'clock, which means I can go out in the evening and meet, you know, my family because they all work. So, you know... Uh, getting used to that lifestyle of part-time working um yeah um, i don't think really i'm complaining or or, or saying anything negative I'm, I'm just saying it's a different country it's a different culture it's a different lifestyle so i'm still in the transition from vacation to to living here i'm still it's still even though it's been almost a month I still feel like I'm on vacation because I've I've never tr I've never done this here before. Every time I've been here, I mean, even last time I was here for three weeks. That was the longest I've ever been here in a long time. I mean, I was here as a child for six months, and then as a young man, I was here for six weeks. But I mean, this is this is so far the longest I've been in the last fifteen years. Uh, the longest I've ever been here. Uh, well, it will be. I mean, yeah, no, it is now. It's been it's been a month, so it's been the longest I've ever been here uh, in the last 15 years. Because two years ago I was here for three weeks. Um, but now I'm, you know, needing to. I need to start looking at an apartment. I need to start house hunting. Although I'm probably not going to move until July, because my parents are are going to Canada for may and june coming back at the end of july sorry june and june and july so they're coming back at the end of july so i think at that time i'll move out um 
So, because there's no reason for me to, to do that. Um, yeah, uh, I, I don't think there's much else I need to talk about today. I just wanted you guys to know I'm enjoying life, living, I mean, come on. How can I not be enjoying life right now? So I just want to say thank you to everyone who's continuing to watch, love, uh, uh, sh sharing, liking, commenting. Please stay safe, be happy, be healthy. I'm going to continue on with my series on, you know, my transition here. Keep watching. I'm going to start also some videos on some of the negative things that I've known in Korea so that because I'm living here now, I can say some of the not so good things about Korea. So I'll be talking about that. And until then, it's Itaewon Sammy, King of Gangnam, Gangnam Sammy, the new Sri Lanka Sammy. I'm out.